look for D. I can't get a voice out of my head. Who killed her? Just who is D? The only way to silence that voice is to change my fate. from an airplane during a flight? That's impossible. There's got to be something I'm missing. Uh, uh, Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> David. Little Peggy? Sir, are you okay? You look like you've just seen a ghost. My apologies, Olivia. You just look so much like an old girlfriend of mine. What's that supposed to mean? Just for a second, I actually thought little Peggy had come back to life. to get back to work. Sure. No problem, Olivia. Just one thing, sir. You're surely aware that we carry a passenger list aboard. Huh. Memorized it, have you? We don't take kindly to stowaways, if that's what you are. A stowaway, am I? Well, Miss Olivia Jones. Maybe you're on to me. The courier is gonna vanish, is he? No matter what trick he uses, I'll get to the bottom of this. Sir, may I help you? You mentioned the uh, passenger list? Oh, I'm sure it's just my mistake. You really do have it memorized? I thought I did, but I'm still new at this job. It's probably just my mistake. I'm sorry I said anything.
Is it true that there's a United States Marshal aboard this flight? Why would you ask such a thing? I heard some of the other crew talking. <laughs> Let's hope she buys that. I have no idea. No idea at all? Isn't the passenger list burned into your memory? Even if I did know, I couldn't tell you. Why would you care to know, may I ask? Oh, just a passing interest. Hmm. You called me a stowaway, didn't you? My apologies for that, sir. What did you mean? Nothing really. No deep meaning. Nothing at all? I must apologize if I have upset you. I didn't mean to. I'm truly very sorry. This emergency door is sealed up tight. Just where does the courier plan on making his escape from? What's wrong with you? You're a United States Marshal. You're transporting a key witness, but reading a completely different file. Does that just mean you're passionate about your job? Or is there something else going on here? You. What are you doing here? Derek Buchanan, United States Marshal. The owner of the memento I used to get here, along with a name that starts with D. Two signs I can't ignore. I said I'd kill you if I saw you again, didn't I, boy? It seems we've already met somewhere. Was I offside? Quit your jabbering. Why do you keep sticking your nose into this case? I've got a question for you, too. Why do you only investigate cases related to real blood? Antonio Rabbit Zapatero, a dealer of the drug called Real Blood. Apparently, he also has evidence that could lead to the identity of D. If that's true, it makes him the most important person on this flight. You really have a death wish, don't you? Yet you might be the one who dies. How dare you? 
You should get out as quickly as you can. I'll keep the fountain pen. To remember you by. look like souvenirs from the trip. Snow on the front, cherry blossoms on the back. They change them according to the season? It isn't totally atrocious, but hardly avant-garde now, is it? I'd expect no less flying coach, of course. Would it have killed them to use a little real stitching? Honestly! And who might you... I don't ask for opinions from the uninspired. Suki, baby, what do you think? Dress all the seats white, then crown them with a single pink stag beetle? Oh, yes! Or maybe change all these to black lights, but not too dramatic. Just play Does straight. your mannequin ever reply? She's not a mannequin. She's my partner. She is? Yes, she is. I'm Duncan, and this is Suki. We're top fashion designers, the both of us. <sighs> 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 Duncan. So this guy's also a deep. Some people just don't get it, no matter how many times you tell them. My bad, I'm sure. Can I ask you something? I don't need your opinion. After all, I have Suki. The sunglasses in particular are strikingly progressive, don't you think? This is avant-garde! The epitome of my next theme. <laughs> the cart that was blocking the aisle has been moved. Now I can expand my search area a little wider. Four thousand five hundred thirty-nine? Four thousand five hundred forty? There's something fishy going on here. Is there a problem? The west side window. The sun's setting there, so that's the west. The west side window. The angle of the setting sun. That is the left side in regard to our direction of travel. That window right there. That window made a noise, didn't it? You heard it, right? I have to inform Dr. Johnson. Going to Washington, D.C. by plain nonsense. Absolute nonsense. She has her name written on everything she owns. She's a D2? 
This is so bad. This plane is going down. It's okay. There's no problem. Oh, shut your mouth. There were lightning strikes on the flight over. There's most definitely a problem. The window will keep on creaking. Suddenly, it will break. We'll turn like crazy. Lightning will hit us again. A direct hit. Lightning? Yes, lightning. It'll blow an engine up this time, that's for sure. And what happens then, Mr. No Problem? This plane won't be flying anymore. You agree with me now, right? This plane is going down! No. This plane didn't crash. What? Did it crash? Did it? How the fuck would you know that? Who the hell do you think Is there a problem, oh. madam? This, this dumb shit here is fucking with me. I told him the noise the window was making is bad news. I told him. Well, madam, I'm sure you did. <sighs> Very well. I just... Uh, Please allow me to handle this. It's unbelievable. I well, well. So Let me life. see now. Mr. Young, wasn't it? I have to admit... I didn't expect to ever see you again. I can't imagine why. This flight attendant seems to know me. I have no idea when I met him, however. For me, our first meeting is a past that hasn't happened yet. You are quite the stubborn mule. The type who won't stay dead even if he gets killed, maybe. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> if you're going to cause trouble, I may have to eject you from the game. Trouble? Me? Your watch was about to fall off. It looks expensive, so I didn't think you'd want to lose it. I'm just a polite, helpful passenger. Look, ref, if you're gonna bench anyone, bench her. And I heard it, and if you don't listen to me, I don't know what I'll do. Just listen 